What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Crystal, and I got TJ in the background today. Gang, gang. Got Mama Vicky. Hey, everybody. I'm Vicky. I'm TJ's mother, Crystal's mother-in-law. Mama. Yes, How y'all doing? Let's get to it. Yes, so today we're going to be reacting to Tom McDonald Brainwashed. And me and TJ had already tried to do this when it first came out, <clears throat> but it disappeared. I don't know what happened to it. And Mama says she want to get in on it. She got some things to say, want to see about the video. So, Thanks. here we are. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Turn it up. Half the country fell asleep, but they scream woke. We're distracted by vaccines and TV shows. Politics and celebrity gossip. All right, hold on, hold on. Hold oh, on, this again. Woo. Yeah. Back it up. It's still not. Back it All up. All right, put it, uh, get off the vocal. I'm going to get off, get off the volume. Get off the volume. Come on. Come on. All right. Half the country fell asleep, but they scream woke. We're distracted by vaccines and TV shows. Politics, celebrity, gossip, popular, neat quotes. Black lives, white lives, which lives mean most? We only dedicate one day. That's, that's a question I like to know, too. Ooh. I like Black to know, lives, too. white lives, which lives means most? I like to know, too. I like to know too because neither one they they neither one of them surpasses the other. No, not at all. Unless you not woke. And now if you woke, you know one life ain't no better than the next life. It's right. a life. That popular neat quotes, black lives, white lives, which lives mean most. We only dedicate one day to remember our fallen soldiers, the men and women who died young. But if you come out the closet as Caitlyn Jenner, you're a hero and you get a whole pride month. He said, you come out the closet as Caitlyn Jenner. I know Caitlyn what he said. I know what he said. What you feel about it, dear mama? I feel like God put you here for a reason. He put you here in the skin that he put you in. Anything else is against God. Fair. That's all I'm saying. Well, I feel like, because, you know, he said that if you fight for our country, you're a real hero. You know what I mean? And you only get one day a year to celebrate but if you're gay and you come out the closet or you know you change from a man to a uh, a dude or dude to woman get you get a whole pride. pride month and then they call you a hero welcome to my world because that's the same shit they did to black folks <clears throat> so what what are you saying yeah i don't see i mean basically i don't understand how you're a hero for what just being a human being and you know whatever your sexual preference is or whatever you want to identify in or mm -hmm. whatnot i mean you know that's your choice i mean and and that's that's but i do want to say this though a whole pride month and how, how long has the fight been going for them to get a whole pride month or for them to be Cause then, I mean, I guess from the beginning of time, because you know people. Of when, time. I mean, when people are gay, they get you know. Uh, because what was, or, I'm gonna tell you why. You because know. what was first back then is last now. God is just starts, slaughtered. I mean, yeah, when God somebody is, was gay, they yeah, kill you for being God gay. Back in the day. Yeah. And God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah because of the homo act. Where do you think Sodom come from? Sodomy Sodom is an act that was performed in Sodom and Gomorrah yeah. when they had the, the lesbian and the gays, and that where everybody was yeah, just, just God doing destroyed it. that. He turned he turned oh, yeah. uh, her yeah, to yeah. a pillar a pillar of salt. But that's where sodomy comes from. That's against and Leviticus tell you that's against God God's box. creation. Mm. That's against God's creation. So when you go against God. If it was bad back then, you brainwashed us now to think that this shit is okay. That's what he's talking about. We've been brainwashed to the fact but that anything that was bad back then, we look at it as good. Killing our brother, man, that's a good thing. You know, you earn your strike. You're not a man because you can pull a trigger. That does not make you a man. What makes you a man is sit down and have a conversation with me and we can agree to disagree. Mm -hmm. That's a man. Okay. okay. You know, but otherwise... You cat fighting, you out here beta males that don't know how to be men and think killing somebody or fighting somebody makes you a man. No, that does not make you a man so, by any standard. A lot of youngsters think that too. A lot of oldsters too. 
No, I ain't never met no. no. That's some old dudes out there. You motherfucker. No, them not men. Them real. not men. That's what you're talking about. All right, okay. so look. So, so, I don't know what the fuck they are. What the fuck they are, but that, yeah. Look, one yeah. thing we got to know and under, you know, respect is not everybody in the world is believes in the Christianity. You know what I mean? No. And if somebody wants to be gay or be a pumpkin or be whatever the hell they want to be, that is their choice and they should be respected for whatever right. they want to be. You know? And that's why the Bible says, even though you're a Christian, you follow your state law. State law says everybody, regardless of sex, race, whatever, has a right to live and be who right they are. Live. State law. So, yeah, you follow your state You can't law. just kill somebody because they... No, so you no, like state it. law, like if state law says that uh You follow the laws no, until no. unless they go against God. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. It don't say no no, 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 because there's a Did it say state law? Your government, baby. Your government, yeah, yeah, your government. No, I'm laws. just saying, I'm, I'm, I'm just breaking it down right. okay. to well, what you want. Well, <laughs> well, state <laughs> law, government law, you Maybe follow you. the law of the land. Right. You follow that law of the land. But you put no other God before me. Right. So I, I do what God said because that's going to lead me to do what the law says. Because God don't want me to be a lawful, binding citizen and to just love my neighbor, yeah. not kill. If I'm thing. doing all love that, then I'm automatically following the law of the state. If there's room for question, then something ain't right. I ain't doing something right. You, you ain't got to agree so with what your neighbor's yeah, decisions are. Yeah, but just let them be who they are. They got to answer to God. Everybody. They got to yeah. answer to God yeah. for that. That's my religion. Now, all I may say that you love me if you go out here and bomb the United Airways, then if that's what your God told you to do, then you do what your God told you to do. But in the end, my God said you're going to suffer for that shit. Yeah. Mm. You know, so I can't live your life and I can't die for you. Right. That's, oh, that's two right. things. We come in this world guaranteed. We come in and we go out. That's, I can guarantee you them two things. Yeah. But that, as far as that, that, that's uh, oh, I know you can guarantee that. Let's see. Yeah. Let's. See, that's more. what causes conversations. That's what he does every time. All right. The most dangerous pandemic is propaganda from these clowns. The masses is gonna save us. Is duct tape on their mouths. Don't speak. We don't need to deform police. What did he say? Doesn't cure you, dog. Cause every patient that gets cured is a customer lost. Big Pharma doesn't cure you because every patient that gets cured is a customer lost. Yeah. Mm. Because yeah. The, what he's saying is just there's money in sickness. Yeah. If you get cured, then there ain't no more money rotating through these Absolutely. doors. So we got to keep you sick. That's why Absolutely. those uh, drugs say I'm uh, fucking, what is that called? I'm about to cry that. Every effects. every drug has one a drug effect. has thirteen side effects. It, it can cure because you gotta get something to cure that side effect for the original shit you had. Yeah, and sometimes the side effects is worse than what you had. Yeah, yeah, especially when they say shit. death. Like damn. Yeah, it don't get worse than death. Like big pharma doesn't cure you, dog. Cause every patient that gets cured is a customer lost. The big oil wants the world. The only wars to get fought are with the countries who have natural resources they want. Oh. The only wars that get fought are with the countries, with the natural resources we want. Mm -hmm. It's like every war that we have been into it with has been about... We wanted their shit. Where they had the oil. We wanted their shit. The Middle East is like it, the biggest yep. with the oil. Mm. And, and we stay in that motherfucker. And that tells you what type of people you're grooming. you programming us to want what we want when we want it. Mm. And we'll go above and beyond to get it. So, fuck the next man. It's about me. And that's why 10 years ago that movement started coming out. Oh, this is about me generation. This is about the me generation. Because about that time is when the Me Too movement? No, no, no. Uh, we used to say back in, uh, like in the 90s, like in the 90s, it's about me. Okay. That's what we used to say. It, okay. uh, honey, who, who, talk, who thinking it's about them? It's about me. me. It's about me. me, me, me. You know what I'm saying? Forget so, about you. And, and saying that, we programmed ourselves to the point to where we said, fuck these kids. And that's how it's been. Yeah. Because the, the more <laughs> you go on saying. in the, uh, it's every, every, every 10 years, because they we are it. less and less with our family. Yeah. We are and less and less with the, the Sunday dinners yeah. and gathering Sunday the whole family together.
together and stuff like that. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's getting, no t- the family no life is getting deteriorated in this country. When did uh, uh, kids football and practice five days a week? <laughs> yeah, they do practice a lot. Every day. God, yeah. yeah, you can't do nothing. <laughs> and, 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 and when did every kid on the track team get a win? Oh, that, yeah, yeah, that trophy. Yeah, you know, I mean, you got to have a loser so you'll know what it feels like to win. Yes. If everybody's winning, then what the... How do you I mean, learn? You know, yeah, I, I don't crazy. agree with that uh, trophy for participation either. Yeah, sure. yeah. Now, y'all all get some back trophies. I mean, I'm sorry. Big <laughs> man braids his hair and likes rap. He's appropriating culture. But if a white man acts too white, he's white trash. He's a racist, he's a bigot, he's a monster. Let's just have the conversation. Not every liberal is dumb, not all Republicans are racist. The government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. Woo! Woo! And that's the truth. Look, that's the truth. Like I said. That's the truth. It's easier to conquer when a nation is divided because then you have the naysayers. Let me tell you this. I said this. What did you say, baby? Well, I'm at the You know what they say about black people, right? You know when they try to say I don't. What in they order say to about hide, if you want to keep something from the black man, this is, I think this is a white joke. You, if you want to keep something from the black man, put it in the book. You ever uh, heard that? Yeah, back in the old days. Okay, now check this out. I think they did the same thing with what he just said about to conquer and divide. If you want them to do what you, what the only thing they can do to conquer us, put it in our face. Let them know in our face. To unite. Hence, United States. If we get united, we win. But that's going to be the first word they think of. Unite. Oh, we ain't going to do that. Same way. So you think they're doing like... Put it, they put it in our face because they know they're going to pay attention. Uh, it's, a it's a diversion. It's a diversion. It's a diversion because... they don't really want us united. They don't want us united. Hell because no. if they want us... we already united by us being in the United States. Right. We already united. No. You know what I'm saying? They want you to feel like you already done did the work. When have America ever been what it said it was? Huh. Because it's united. That's I mean, the question. It's united. That's the question. That's a word. You damn right. That's a word. You damn right. And it's so easy. How easy was it for us to get? It wasn't it easy. It wasn't easy, actually. It wasn't easy. It, it took them it years. Took, it, took it, took it took them making that box to where they could have people sit down and, and imagine themselves being somewhere else. Let me tell imagine you Imagine themselves heart. not being able to think That's because right. they all are stra- Yeah, they distracted from what's you, really going on. Let, you said how all we have to do is unite. Let me tell you how hard it is for the world to unite. How hard was it for us to get this to pull this off? What are you talking about? How many times? We were supposed to meet up at 2 o'clock, 5 o'clock, <laughs> all that. We all that. Why are you talking about? Why are you talking two about? O'clock, o'clock. How hard do you think it's going to get everybody in the world to unite if it took us three times to, to pull this As off? long as it takes for everybody to wake the fuck up. Stop sleeping. Okay, why are you telling me? You got to tell them. You, oh, are you waiting oh. that way? You got you to... <laughs> I thought... I, I keep forgetting. Come to that door, you I keep forgetting. We all fucked. <laughs> I keep forgetting we all... I'm not going to buy four or five, though. We were getting... We get dick in it for a three-minute okay. video. All right, so what did you have to tell them? Stay woke. Stay woke. Pretty much. Stop sleeping. <laughs> Stay woke. What was it? Pretty much. Stay woke. <laughs> Everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets. Mm. That's crazy. You like how they divided the looters from the protesters? They say, oh yeah, there's some other guys out here running in shit. Looters versus just keeping the world not even knowing. They say, here, we're going to show you what's going on. Then we're going to show. And, and, and no, they, they, they show they more of the looters than they did the protest. But they put them all together. If you're a protester, you, you're automatically a rioter yeah, and a looter. But the videos was mainly of looters. Exactly. But that's how they said, oh, oh, you're a protester. Oh, we know what that means. You like no, rioting. No, looter is somebody that take advantage of a situation. The looters took the advantage of the protest to let them get them to Absolutely. free shit. 
Absolutely. It's different. If it was the same thing, it would be called the same it's thing. It's about what you know what I'm saying. It's it's if it's a protest, it's the protest. A looter is a looter. It's yeah, given to the all for a reason. Got the same name now to the media. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, the media put them all the, together. The media is its own dingy time. Yep, and everybody that's sitting there is talking about yeah. stop watching the news, stop watching the media. They the main ones watching the media, yeah. and seeing all that, and yeah. looping everybody into the same damn box. Like DJ. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. No. The monkeys become people and people turn into sheep. They put fluoride in the water that's keeping us all asleep. Claim they want the best for us. I find it hard to believe. Cause they've been selling us cigarettes since we was 18. Fake news, fake book, distract and divide. Shit. Back in the day, they used to sell cigarettes to younger, didn't they? Yeah, I used to buy cigarettes when I was like 12, 13 at package store. Right, yeah. And they let us go in the package store. Package store back then was a liquor bar. That uh, me and hung in and drink just like you're holding a while now. You didn't even have to get it, have an ID to purchase cigarettes. I remember when no. my mom used to work at uh, the little bars and hotels. They had a whole uh, vending machine where you just put your money in and get you a pack yeah, of cigarettes. Yeah, you could go to the club. Right, so yeah. that, that, that's fucking weird. Hotel used to have them vending machines. That's what I mean. They had vending machines. Vending machines. I seen some with cigars. I seen yeah. some with cigars yeah. in it. Yeah. Like, you didn't need no ID or nothing back then. That started happening years. later on, and you know, when they started. God, we yeah. hot. But you best believe that the reason they stopped putting it in vending machines and all that bullshit is because they started adding other shit to it, and they knew that it, that it wasn't ready to get rid of as many people. <laughs> was getting rid you of cigarettes in that shit. They're really busting the motherfuckers now. Oh God. They yeah, because now you got to be 21 to uh, get cigarettes, don't you? It depends on where you go. Woo! Right. It that's what it is. I mean, that's the, the law, though. Yeah, For, that's the law. Yeah. No, not, no, no matter, depending on where you go, and they let it slide, like the law says you got to be 21. Yeah. Selling us cigarettes since we was 18. Fake news, fake book, distract and divide. You're either right or you're left or you're black or you're white. Big yep. Fake news, all that. Distract and mm-hmm. divide, jury. It has never been, in my 35 years of living, this chaotic during a presidential um, thing than how it was with the Trump situation. With Biden. Trump and Biden. I've oh, never wow. seen tension that big. The BLM, the all the movements coming out, and and just that was insane. And it's like you have to be a Democrat or you have Barack? to be a Republican. Yeah, that's 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 yeah, it was bigger than the Barack see, shit. You know what? And you might think Damn. you might think I'm I'm uh, I, I'm being a little shady or not, but um, I really don't care. Right, I know you don't. You know what I'm saying? Speak your truth, but brother. I, I'm like this. I don't believe in the man. I don't believe in Biden being my president. I, I didn't believe in president. Trump being my know. president. But some shit Trump did, I appreciate. I do. Some shit Biden. Well, I ain't, I ain't really ain't seen nothing Biden that did other than run his motherfucking mouth. But, mm-hmm. right now. Right. But, it's some things like with Candace Owens. I don't believe in everything that Candace say and do, but when she makes sense, it makes sense. Cardi B shouldn't be idolized for WAP. Right. When you telling me that I can't get on whatever platform and, girl, and girl. say... And say certain shit like bitch, fuck you, or whatever if I'm saying it to the wrong person. But as long as I say it to somebody you don't like, it's okay. Mm. But if I said to somebody you got all these likes, like your celebrities or whatever, and they they in the wrong, it's okay. Because these are who you like. You like who you, you follow who you like. Mm. So if this behavior is what you like, then that lets me know that you ain't seeing what I'm seeing. Mm. So you don't look at shit the same way I look at it. Mm. That don't make me a Democrat. That don't make me a Republican. That make me liberal. I understand both ends. But guess what? I sleep by believing the way I believe. Not how you believe. Is I Democrat think less and liberal the it. same thing? No. Because a liberal is somebody that stands on the side of like moral, morals 
and you know just wholesome that don't set right with me kind of shit. You right. know what I'm saying? But Damn, how you got but a Democrat, oh, a Democrat, <laughs> a Democrat, he can say it's this way or it's that way, and the Republican say a, a Democrat is right and left. Uh, if you ask a Republican, what is it's left to right? It, you know, you 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 really uh, saying the same shit. But Republicans you, are more like conservative. Yeah. Where, you know, they try yeah. to hold on to like the old values yeah. and everything. And, you know, which it, is cool to the most part. You know, I mean, I agree with a lot of it. But, you know, we also got to grow and we also got to evolve. Like, we can't stay. Now, the ones of us that want to stay there, then that should be fine. That's your choice. But we also need to respect the ones that want to grow and evolve and do whatever they want to do. See, at the end of the day, Who's respect you uh-huh. asking for? Do you respect it? Fuck what you want. Right. I can care less whether you respect it or not, but you, what you won't do is make me feel a type of way because you feel a type of right. way. That's where your feelings come in. Right. And in right. this life, fuck a feeling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fuck a feeling. We ain't talking about no feeling. We talking about you and me. And at the end of the day, this is self-love over here, brother. I understand. Right. You know what I'm saying? I understand. Don't get me wrong. But that's just my opinion. Mm-hmm. We can't argue for an opinion. Mm-hmm. You're not right. I'm not right. Yeah, and I'm you can argue all day long. Yeah, yeah. but what is the argument on the side? Nothing. I'm 58. At hey. the end of that <laughs> argument, <laughs> still don't spill the same way. Dude, what? Intent don't need a microchip to hack in your life. Because the phone inside your pocket is a tracking device. And I don't know what I'm going to sit on. Rappers for Joe Biden looking like he ate up. What, you have something to say? No, I'm just... Oh, are oh, you just vibing? Right. It's a tracking device. <laughs> and I don't know what else to do. Rappers for Joe Biden looking like he ate a hundred Xanax for dinner. Because Samson and the president and kicking him off Twitter is a bigger threat than Priya Mahal and Ben Affleck. Because Samson and the president and kicking him off Twitter is a bigger threat than Priya Mahal and Ben Affleck. Because Samson and the president and kicking him off Twitter is a bigger threat than Priya Mahal and Ben Affleck. You don't trust the Pope. How you feel about when they, uh... When they took Trump off of Twitter? Like, they... They couldn't be on no social media. That kicked him off Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I don't even know if he was on Instagram. That kicked him off everything. I felt like Joe Biden was the big devil. <laughs> That's what I felt. Trump was still president, wasn't he, when he got kicked off? Joe of Biden, after he won the election, is when he got kicked the fuck No, off. I think he, I can't remember. You yeah, can't. it was after they seen that Biden was winning the presidency. That's when they kicked him off. I Hell, didn't I even know he was remember. kicked off Twitter. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm just saying. Oh, they kicked him off Twitter while he was president before. Uh-huh. They kicked him off while he was president before. Yeah. Twitter. That's what I thought. But I mean... I don't know. I, I can't remember. It's yeah. been a minute. But see, the thing about that is it ain't a government-ran platform. That's the end That's thing. exactly what it they is. Can do, they can do whatever they yeah, want to do. they can do whatever they want to do. Yeah, that... that Shit. I because, off doing that time because too it's not, he, he was doing a little suspect... <laughs> because they can't kick Trump off a. Of, if Trump needs to make a speech, he can get on the fucking platform in the White House yeah. and turn all the news into the White all House. You know right. what I mean? Right. Somebody can media, media. and right now your society, what is your uh, society ain't trying to hear from you right now. Right, exactly. <laughs> if you feel the need to speak it, then you got your whole little podium yeah. set up where you can shut yeah. everybody's TV yeah. on the back channel. Don't be your thoughts on my channel, my yeah. Everybody don't got to see. You know, on my platform. Right. What you want to Oh, do? now y'all ready to hear what I said? Yeah, now you want to hear what I Because I was about to say, they got it to where somebody can do whatever, and all they have to do is ban them off on Twitter, and the world going to feel happy. But that's Satisfied. stupid. Like, that's not right. taking well, away so your what? freedom of speech. It's social Twitter. media. It's not got nothing to do with... Uh, Find another fucking platform. Yeah, they ain't the government. Well, yeah. How is you making How you How are you getting that? your opinion thrown before you, social media? Right. How do you Come on, get satisfaction now. out of that as a as a as a citizen? How do you get satisfaction out of that? Banned on get Twitter. Get out of stuff. Get satisfaction out of what? Getting banned on Twitter? Like, yeah. That, because they have made it now. No, as y'all, I mean, regular people. If yeah, I got banned saying. off of Twitter. No. If the president is banned saying. off Twitter. Well, people go to Facebook jail that. and they when they get out there on Man, Facebook like we need to talk about impeachment. Red carpet. You know what I'm saying? Been in Facebook jail mm-hmm. for two months or whatever, however long they be in there. Right. But they be so happy when they get out. It's social media. Yeah. You ain't had no way to broadcast Start your own who social you are. Media. Hell. What you are. Your your selfies. <laughs> you know, that's an addiction. Yeah, it is. It's it's a big addiction too. 
whole social media thing. Yeah. Police are the government, but you want people giving up their right to own a firearm. Why would you be comfortable with police and the government, the only people on the planet with the right to buy a gun? What? Who comfortable with that? I don't know one person that said they're comfortable with them taking away all our guns and stuff. Hell, here in Tennessee, we got the whole, uh, what is it, the right to carry now or something? Mm -hmm. and, Since uh, July, yeah, you, you don't even have, have an, uh, a license. Yeah, you don't have to have registration. Mm -mm, you can carry, openly carry here. I don't know who, I, I don't know, Democrats. Because they they're getting ready for the zombie effect. They're getting ready for the zombie effect. Everybody's going to be walking around here armed, shaking, nervous, don't know what to expect from anybody. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be on guard 24-7. You don't know who to trust. I feel like the whole, I don't feel like everybody deserves to have a gun, though. Like, people that got mental issues and sitting here, you know, like just throwing uh, the gun around. You don't know who the hell they're gonna shoot. Like, like they don't have the responsibility. If you don't have the responsibility to carry a gun the right way, you shouldn't have one. And that's one time Period. when us as Americans need to get together and and make a statement that due to some people' mental capabilities shooting on the gun, but we pick inside. You either are. There's no middle. That's There's no mean. gray area. They when you say that, it's like, oh, if you start that, see. then you're going to make everybody's yeah. guns disappear because yeah. you're trying to get... <laughs> like, well, okay, so it's either everybody can't have guns or... That's when it comes back down to whatever your God tell you to do. Yeah. Your God tell you to be loving. Yeah. So that does not require a gun and you trust in God to do the rest. If you do what you're supposed to do... But what God tell you to do, your God tell you to do. I think God wanted. I think God said, uh, "No, we can defend ourselves if need to be, or something." No, I don't no. Know. I go God said, "If somebody wants your life, give it to them." That's what my God said. God said, "If somebody wants your life, give it to them." Oh, your life snap. is not yours. I got your life. life is not That's yours. Real. That's your great. life is not yours. That's, yeah, I, I, that's yeah. mine. Give it to them. I will welcome my child back home. That's what God said. Okay. That's what that's my God said. Yeah. And with that mentality, that's hard to, that's I hard to know. swallow. That's I know hard it, took me, swallow. it took me. Woo. It took me fifty-five years. <laughs> my mom tried to tell me coming up, yeah. but I wouldn't listen. I was hard-headed. Thought I knew it all. Right. You know what I'm saying? Whatever I did made me feel good, but it pissed her off. But not to the point to where she couldn't communicate with me because we had that. You know what I'm saying? Right. And she came to me when she needed understanding on why shit was going the way it was. And I would tell him, I'm going to do this. Then this is going to happen. <laughs> you know, right. the after effects of that, because I can see it out my, with my daddy and so forth. But that's another story. Right. But she knew that. So it was like, I waited till you got over here for I need you to call KUB and talk to him. Why you didn't have so and so call? Cause you know I talk to him more professionally, you mm -hmm. know. And so she would have me make her business calls, mm -hmm. you know, cause she understood that I wasn't gonna allow nothing in them projects deter me from making this strong first. Because I've seen my daddy, I know what type of man I don't want. Mm -hmm. So I know your mistake. That's why I tell my daughter that I see me in you, mm -hmm. because I was a word about. Making them feel good. At the end of the day, that ain't what makes me happy. Mm. That's not what makes me happy. So after 21 years, it woke me up and then it was like, no more. If it makes me feel good and I can sleep at night, I'm good. I don't cry at night, you know, or nothing like that because I love me now. Absolutely. My self-esteem, and you know, I always say, I love stuff for her self-esteem. Hell yeah. Got well, if I had that in high school, Star guy, she got enough self esteem for all of us. Tell me who Star is, cause they're, they're that's old. my sister in law. That's TJ's sister. That's my daughter. She been on a couple videos with us. Yeah, y'all know her. That's true subscriber. Bella, what's it? Bella Brickhouse. On Facebook. Yeah. Incomfortable the police and the government, the only people on the planet with the right to buy a gun. White privilege getting amplified to reinforce the vision. It convinces white people that they're favored by their skin, and black people getting angry because they're told they're treated different. So the conflict is between us and never with the system. Let's just have the conversation. Not every liberal is dumb, not all Republicans are racist. 
The government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors Cause they know that if we get along we'll probably go against them They can't stop this whole thing. What you think about that? We all, they they know if we all were able, to, that's why we all got to be put in different boxes. Like, and it's victim boxes. This is what I always talk about. Like the we government, the society. government is trying to make us all victims. Victim. We all got to be in some type of victim box. Me too, LGB, BLM. They ain't we, gonna label you. They they trying to label us all. I'm telling you, it's it's, it's man. time to fight. We getting ready to fight. I don't you play really that victim shit unless it's really like there's real the, victims out here. Yeah. But it ain't ninety percent of the fucking goddamn uh population. Right. Come on right. now. Right. Everybody but wants to feel yeah, like some type of victim. And it goes back to behavior. Because with brother polite And that just weakens. With brother us. polite, you've been accused of your semen allegedly being on a fourteen year old. Brother Plight? Brother Polite, and that he, is O L I G H T. He's supposed to be the black conscious of of the of the community. Of what community? Our, the black community. All the black community in the country. <laughs> I'm just trying okay, to understand. Listen, listen, listen. listen. What's up? He's not of my black community. Okay. But he's somebody's black community because <laughs> he's only no no I don't know where he's from like New York I don't know where he's from one of them communities but he's like a, a he's a community leader in his community right only two black people people who think he oh <laughs> okay <laughs> he's okay. Girl, whoever the fuck he is but he did what now he 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 was his girlfriend yeah he asked her, could he take her daughter, 14 years old, to a party? See, this is the thing. Listen he asked to his girlfriend if he could take her teenage, 14-year-old daughter to a, to a party. party. She gave consent. To his party or to, like, take her? He's, he's, uh, he's, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's very high, high society. Highly favored. Elite, like, everybody yeah, respected. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, he took her to a hotel instead. Mm. The little girl, when she got back home, he, he gave her some uh, drinks and everything. They found when when her mama told it, they found uh, she had been her alcohol level was up. She had his semen on her clothes, so she went and told her mama that he took her to a hotel and he had gave her like four drinks. She was passed out. She don't know what happened. So the mother went to the police and told them that. He sexually assaulted her daughter. Was she five? She was uh, 14. Oh, I thought it was some shit. Some yeah, she was 14. So, he's on Facebook talking about, hey, uh, uh, my wives, see, you got more than one wife. <laughs> he said, yes, that's what I'm saying. You watch people's behavior. My wives, he got more than one wife. He got two $400,000 uh, uh, Rolls Royces. But rather than you being on your Instagram live talking about uh, they're trying to frame me or whatever the fuck is going on, you're talking about uh, I'm respected in the community. I got two four hundred thousand dollars cars, but at the end of the day, I got attorneys. I know my attorney tell me uh, not to speak on that, not to speak on that motherfucker. Your attorney can't tell you not to say I didn't do that. They ain't got my DNA. You know, that can whatever you say can be used against you in the court of law, motherfucker. You got me on tape saying that's not my DNA. I'm already telling you I ain't did shit on record. But why you ain't on your line saying that shit? Instead, you want to talk about this $400,000 car you sitting on the roof of with the job talk, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come on. Where did we get to this? Your behavior let me know you probably did put that damn girl in that damn hotel room. Your behavior already <laughs> told me that bullshit. Okay, now what about for the people that don't know what you're talking about? But I'm just saying. <laughs> what about for the people that don't know what the hell? Look at my brother. Like, his lips look you know, old. He look like, Was it you P -L -I -G -H -T? know. P-L-I-G-H-T? B is P-O-L-I-G-H-T, yeah. Oh, Polite. Like. Yeah, Polite. Mr. Yes. Mr. Polite. You see, oh, police. Shit. He on the high scale. You see what I'm saying? Tell me, I got to turn to the highest level. I got to turn these on the highest level. I Nigga, did you do it? <laughs> you know, did you do it? Say you didn't do it, but you ain't you ain't here. You ain't saying shit about that. Mm. You did it. Mm. You did it. Mm. Mm -mm. And DNA too. You did it. You all day, every day. 
All day, every day he did it. Mm. And he did it. With their neighbors, cause they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. They can't stop us. Cause we're ready to fight. Trying to brainwash us. But we won't let freedom die. The whole world's brain. Somebody done gave us cameras so they can keep it out on us 24 motherfucking seven. Who? Your job? <laughs> no, because they can keep they they got cameras on us wherever we go. Like we're all they got all they gotta do is tap in on our TV or whatever. The government got a hold yeah, That's what I'm saying. The government been able to see all of us. I want to be some fucking before the government paid him. They want to make sure his he's sitting on the phone. That'd be smoking them cigarettes. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's what they want to do. They want to make sure he sits on the phone. I'm in my house, motherfucker. Too many bathroom breaks. No, I don't have you sit back over here. No, the one thing I can say they saying is that since she's been working from home, her, uh, her, uh, Hand time and her uh, actual time on the clock have improved. Hell yeah! <laughs> Hell yeah! You clocking yeah. in on time, ain't you? About ten. I give myself ten minutes. <laughs> I give myself ten minutes because uh, anything I can do yeah. roll up. Nigga, I ain't stupid. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't gonna say she working from home and still late. Nah, nigga, you ain't gonna do that. <laughs> One thing I can't get over though, that's, that's I still mean, call yeah, in mean, and, and, and working from home. I still call in. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, you work like your voice. You can lay my voice is worse. I can't, you know, anybody gonna understand me. Look at I got laryngitis. Like, but now I'll do my ass like that, but I already know. I'll be like, TJ like the king of being late somewhere. I was late working two minutes downtown. Oh, yeah, it don't matter where you go. That's a bit crazy. Yeah. Let's go. Why? Train the people only to consume step two. Infiltrate adults with the new step three. Indoctrinate the children through the schools and the music and the apps from the phones that they use step four. Separate the right from the left step five. Separate the white from the black step six. Separate the rich from the poor. Use religion and equality to separate them more step seven. Fabricate a problem made a lie step eight. Put it on the news every night, step nine. When people start to fight and divide, take control. This is called situational design. All right, let, let, let's not talk about the times you was late, because you were late too, Justice. Did you listen to the damn song? Yeah, yeah. We just went through step I, one through I, I, ten, I to... and you still sitting here uh, stuck on it. Yeah. Crystal, let's make sure they know that you've been <laughs> late a few times. You've been a few times, I didn't say anything a few. I said just as much. Oh, hell no. Not yeah, just as much at nothing, no. Okay, what was he saying in the movie? Oh, hell. <laughs> he just, he gave us step one to ten on what the government's doing on how to control us. Okay. All what right. What do y'all think about the step one through ten? I, I don't even remember what that all was. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't get past step one, honestly. Uh, what He said systematically uh, d- uh, divide. Everything that we suspect, he said. I, I suspect what you said. They said, uh, here, they said the uh, what they're doing in the schools, yeah. indoctrinating the kids. That's what I said. Why, why, now you know what the BET Awards, what Nas did, right? I he, he, he was on stage with a with a stage full of naked men, 
No, oh, Nas X. Yeah, Nas X. I was thinking the old Nas. I said, yeah. no, 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 no. Nas X. And now he done got implants. They said that he, he was so on Nas Twitter. Yeah. yeah, they said but, he was on Twitter uh, 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 with, with Big T's. They showed the picture. But then they said that they don't know if he was prosthetics. just playing prosthetics or what it was. But he was tweeting like that was him. And then Dr. Miami said, I can't wait for our next session oh. of his tweets. So people not knowing. Well, is this really Nas X? Did he really do that? Because you know he flamboyant and all that yeah. shit. Or is it really prosthetic? So you got me already second guessing myself now. Right. So you want to end up with a full blown female and then we ain't going to find out for 10 years down the road. We're going to be running, what happened to Nas X? And, and this is the female that just won the Grammy. And you're going to find later that it was Nas X. <laughs> you know what okay. I'm saying? Yeah, Manipulation. Crazy. Be He's gonna change right in front of our face. Uh, nostalgia. Nostalgia is gonna be the name. Some shit. Whatever. Nostalgia. Whatever people wanna do. Man. That's on you. You you wanna have well, boobs? Some, 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 some high, real. That, that, I don't way know. after. Yeah, yeah, because, because there's no way he gonna nobody gonna know. Day, if you can understand, they gonna change in front of your eyes like Caitlyn Jenner did. Yeah, but see the whole okay, thing is, is whatever Jenner they did. wanna be. Do you know Caitlyn Jenner was a damn uh the the don't me whatsoever. Uh, gold medal. Yeah, I know. Okay, and now she's a woman. So yeah, you but think, that changes in front of your face, but you mean. Okay, what about what about the girl that played in Star that played Queen Latifah's daughter? Did you know that was a man? Who? Yeah. In Star, okay, but no, oh, no, she wanted to. Be, wasn't she like transitioning or something? She was transitioning. That's what I'm saying. But you didn't find out until after she done got the role. Right. Right. Then you find out. Yeah. But who else she done been with, affected, or whatever? Before she got to that, why not let the world know? Look, I'm trying to be an actress and I'm a man originally, but I would love to be See, a female. That that is a big thing of what I think upsets people. Like when when you are like say say you're a transgender woman and you got a crush on this dude. And you're scared to tell him that you're a transgender, but you want to see if you can get a chance with him or whatever. Like, that's selfish because you're only thinking of yourself. You're not, you know, you're not thinking of that other person's uh, thoughts or feelings on anything. And you're sitting here pretending like everything's good. You're, a, you're just a regular female and he's a dude. And then when he finds out that you're transgender, he flips and, you know, whatever happens, you know, like. <laughs> you tell you how my brain works. And you say how my brain works. But how do you get mad at the, the, the person that you didn't tell the truth to? You know what I'm saying? Like, like how is it his fault for him lashing out or going crazy when you should have just told the truth about who you are? That's like, whoever wants to be whatever, just say, this is 2021. Like, don't go around pretending to be something you're not. That, that's what pisses people off more than anything. Yeah, but you got to think broader than that because you got to start questioning why did you have any inkling that that ain't who you thought it was? Because there's some signs before it get to the point to where you don't put invested into that. There's some signs. So did anything ever ask you why you never did this or never did that? You know, there's some signs, so at that point, you gotta take the Then you go into denial, like, nah. Yeah, you, you yeah. see the sign, but you're yeah. like, nah, I'm tripping. Ain't yeah. no way. Yeah, you try to get me. And, and Maya Angelou said it best. When people tell you who they are, believe them. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. People don't want to yeah. tell you who they are. When well, people want to lie and pretend to be something but else. But then that's when you gotta search you. You gotta search you. If you had a sign in you, any kind of dis uh stain I feel like or you're whatever. Right on that. If you had any notion, any notion, there was some type you, of sign. For one, for you all has nothing. That's what they do. But and not, at that point, that's what a grown up, that's what a man, that's what a woman come in and say, "Well, wait a minute, that's some other shit I could have did too." So she can live over there. I can live over exactly, there. Exactly because who that's, you are, you has know, do you and I do me. That's, that's when you make that grown up. That's when you put on them grown up drawers. 
I feel that. It ain't all about who got the best, who got the dolo, who got the dolo put on over on them. It ain't about that. Because at the end of the day, that's my sister. You know what I'm saying? That's the way I got to look at it. I love you, but I got to handle you over there. We can't be oh, right. over here. You know what I'm saying? That's the right. And that's nothing wrong with yeah. that. There's nothing wrong with that. you still that. showing respect. Yeah. Yeah. We ain't got to yeah. run in the same yeah. little circle. We both can eat, but not at the same table. How about that? We both can eat, but not at the same table. Yeah, you know, I might be in the big table. I want table, you to eat the same as me. But you be with the babies. Yeah, you know that's what you might feel the same way about me. But right. okay, we feel that way. Okay. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> if I feel that way and you feel that way, who wrong? Facts. <laughs> For real. Fabricate a problem, made a lie, step eight. Put it on the news every night, step nine. When people start to fight and divide, take control. This is called situational design. They can't stop us. Cause we're ready to fight. Try to brainwash us. This is called situational design. Let freedom die. The whole world's brain and lie. Every brain pick a team, start a light in the street. The whole world's brain and Shut up. Yep. Tom McDonald. Every damn time we try to react to one of his songs. <laughs> it's always like this. And then we brought mommy into the mix this time. Oh, yeah. We might have to break this down. Woo! Parts. No, leave it the way okay. it is. Okay. Leave it all the way it is. Hey, we're gonna do uh. Oh, we got an outro. We got all the. We got y'all got that. Gotta rank, rank it. it. What do you rank the video? Yeah. Rank, rank. Yeah, that's what I was telling. Yeah. You talking to me? Yeah. And what is the five B? Five B and bars. Bars. Okay, and is it ten for each or is it one to ten for each? One between one. One and is ten. trash. Ten is. One is trash. Yeah, ten is hot. But it's 10 for all three things together. Is it 10 No, you got to separate three. TJ separates them all. I just be like, you know. Yeah, you okay, I get them. If it's, if it's beats, bars, yeah, and it's, it's, it's lyrics. Vibe. Vibe. Vibe first. What do you write the vibe? The vibe, I give him 11. Oh. oh. <laughs> Can I say why? Yeah. Okay, I it's give like, him 11 like, because. Here, talk to them though. Let them yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I, I, them, give I don't know if they can see you though. <laughs> I give them 11 because the vibe, the beat, I mean, everything coincides together. Okay. It makes you, it puts you in a mood to maybe there's some hope. It's that hope music. You know, I, it goes mm -hmm. back to if somebody you that about, hope, they if, can't do that if, if you think about uh, 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 Marvin Gaye, what's going on, that song, mm -hmm. that, somebody it, even though you, it's you know. a rap song, but that beat puts you in a we got to do better than this kind of mood. You know, it's beyond me now at this point. Mm -hmm. We're talking about our generation, our future, what we're putting out here for them to see. People think what's good is bad now. You can't tell me that I don't feel like you shouldn't be that way. I should, if, 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 if it was based on how I felt, then okay. But that's not how I feel. My opinion is that if you was born or whatever a certain way, then that's who you are. My opinion is that if you've been accused of this and you live and you walk in that kind of way, then I have a right. Chances are. Chances are mm -hmm. you walk like a duck, you crack like a duck. I mean, you quack like a duck, then that's my opinion. That's what your... Okay, that's the that, opinion that's of what, Bob. That's what your... Uh, Things that you've been through your in your personal life has led you to believe. You know what I mean? Right. That's your personal situations that you've been through, that you've witnessed or whatnot. Right. Your personal And that's opinion. what that beat does. It, it puts you in, in that mood. And then his lyrics... Uh, Hold on, on. Beat. Beat first. What I give him on his beat? Yeah, the beat. Uh, Eleven. Okay. I mean, lyrics. Really, I'm going to say... Bars, bars, bars. No comparisons, but I really want to okay, say... Okay, bars, mama. Now it's bars. What now it's lyrics about. you was talking about. Now it's lyrics. What? But can I do how I didn't live? Because really what I'm... You can do whatever, whatever you feel. 
After the fact, there's no comparison. Yeah, we ain't ever been you can't, he, what he What he rates is on a higher level. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's I on higher you. level than a, na- a number. Because he's in this whole other ball game. Yeah, he, it, it's like it's it's over a lot of people's head. And okay. when it was shit up that high, people don't hate to look up. I really look down. You know, I ain't mm. trying to look up. Hey, he got a song like that, too. You know. Or he don't look so, down or whatever. Yeah, yeah you can't. What, you know, so, between, so, what are you saying is higher than saying, even I'm saying, a number? Man, he, he got, he shot out. He, the bars. Was that on the bars? You finna hear more Tom McDonald now than anything because his message and especially if he had the following that he had through, he's like, a big like y'all, man. for example, having that that following that y'all have, yeah. that people are looking at him now, and as they as they listen to that song, it's going to resonate with them. Especially if you come from something, if you didn't come from nothing, then you gonna make, yeah, you know, yeah. you're gonna overlook the message it's what he's trying to put out, yeah, right, right. You know, because one of the beautiful angels in heaven. Was the God of music. That's what Satan lives in that. God tossed him out of heaven. And he was the music. Mm. He The people just for some reason. They just lost it when it came to the music. Mm-hmm. And so the music is what put them in that trance. And they're not hearing what we what people like him is saying. So yeah, yeah, bars. that's done went over a lot of people's heads. And you saw the bars is is unranked. It's yeah. unranked. Ain't no now you gotta ain't talk about it. overall. Overall, what you get? Overall, song. what is overall? I say it's, oh, it's okay. overall out okay. the window. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> I agree with my mom on that because he really <laughs> he he. I like how he's not taking sides neither. No. Like you know, I, when I first heard Tom McDonald, I thought he was a Trump supporter and and some other shit. You know okay. what I mean? No. Which you know, he's like whatever, behavior. whatever, whatever. He, a, he consciously watched people be. I thought angry. he was one sided. Is what I'm gonna say. And at one point, I was one sided when all this shit because it made because I felt like I had to be one or the other. Right. You know, you had to be Republican or you had to be Democrat. There wasn't but no in-between. But he was between. asking the wrong question. Yeah. The right question would have been, how do I feel? How do I feel? Because I at the end of the day, what, whatever they believe, they believe. But it was your feelings that made you think that, wait a minute, some stuff he's saying I agree with. Right. Some stuff he's saying I don't. Right. Take what you can use. But you they know, didn't want that. That was like not the acceptable thing. You couldn't. You couldn't pick and choose. You had to be on one side or the other. That's how it felt like. That? That's how it felt like. All the tension and energy. But who was, told you to feel? Nobody told me to yes, feel. Yes, it did. Your government told you to feel. That's where we lose it at because they put us against our feelings. Yeah. Our feelings got nothing to do with this. It's what do your heart tell you? Your feelings is not your heart. Your heart is controls this, every part of your being. Mm-hmm. If your heart and your mind is on the same accord, ain't nothing that can tell you differently. You see somebody else's point of view. I was in my feelings. I think made loss at that of time. political decisions based on regular people that regular people make are more based off of Posts that other people make versus moves that politicians. I was caught up in all the bullshit. I was in my feelings. How the hell do I even act like y'all just heard what I just (laughs) said? I just dropped a gem on y'all. Yes, you did. My feelings was really getting to me (laughs) over (laughs) seeing the police situation with the you know the black community and everything. And then I seen a couple of posts or uh, videos where. A kid look like my kids and get done and that threw me all into a, a loop of emotions I'm like oh my god cuz it's like they looking at our kids like uh, threats now you know yeah. what I mean like I always looked at my babies as little beautiful cute cuddly little things and now you know they're being looked at as threats but see that's something that we've been dealing with all this time and now you see what it's like because you see yourself or, or something that's precious and dear to you yeah. in that same situation. Yeah. So then you got compassion. Whereas you didn't have that compassion. 
not as strong. That not yeah, it wasn't something that you would fight for. You'll go out and march for this because having those little ones change your perspective. Yeah. Because then your yeah. feelings wasn't involved no more. Your heart was. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So it was about not just you, but them little ones. Mm -hmm. So you had to flip that whole thing around and you start to learn to but do still, different. But still, and I, I had to rewind it again though because once you go all in with emotions, then that takes over and then it only becomes about that. And there's, you know, it's a bigger picture. It's still, I still don't agree with none of these uh, groups or Democrat, Republican, or none of that. You know what I mean? I'm still trying to try to keep myself in the middle. And even though it's hard, sometimes I, I, I'm, you know, tilted one way or the other a little bit. But my whole thing is trying to stay in the middle. But why are you trying to stay in the middle, though? Because I don't agree with everything that goes in any group or Democrat or Republican. What, where but else why are to be? you associating yourself or aligning yourself with a group? Can you stand alone? I can't stand alone. Okay, so stand who alone. cares yeah. about what a group? Uh, you you can't attach yourself to a group. That's the LGBTQ. Yeah. Those are group. Black Lives Matter. That's a, that's a group. Yeah. That's what they want us to do. But and I'm not against I said, any group. You know what I mean? Right. So therefore. You you don't align with any group. Right. You are individual and you That's have your opinion. Middle. That's why I'm in the middle. The no, world. you're not yes. in the middle. I'm outside the box. Yes. There you go. Okay. You're thinking outside the box. Yes. You're outside the box basically because you're standing alone and it's your belief. But then you got to ask yourself, if you're in this belief and it flipped the script, and something happened to where your belief was questioned, right. would you have that same compassion? Or would it be an excuse that you're trying to give me because now this happened to the Democrat? Y'all mm. did the same shit that we mm. did. That proves one thing to me, being an individual, that we're all human. Right. Did you do something good? Right. In the next president, are they gonna, am I going to get at least that? If I'm not going to get the, at least that, I want to know what can I do to help my community. Right. I don't want you to be telling me that it's, it, it, it's rain when it's piss. Right. You know what I'm saying? I want to see your work. Don't piss on me and tell me. It's yeah, I want to see your work. I want to see your work. I think this right. should be a, a whole different discussion, too. You know what I'm saying? I think we should have some discussions on here, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what Tom McDonald songs turn into. Yeah. <laughs> discussions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This ain't mm. even a damn. We I don't even think we can name this a review. This is a no. This is a reaction. Uh, this same this, reaction. This, I no, I this, this all. is a, a review. No, this, <laughs> this is, is a. Uh, hell no, this is a reaction. <laughs> this is a they conversation. You can, you can do it in parts. About you know, some of the time breaking down in parts. No, fuck it. Let it go. Oh, yeah, but we want no. They gonna ask for part two every time we. We just turned a three minute song into about an hour right here. Yes, that's awesome. Yeah. What? All right. Yeah. all right, so I give it all a ten. A solid ten. Yep. All right, I get you. You write it out to this world. I thought. Well, I yeah, but you know, a ten is as high. You know, this the highest you ranking. That? What are you gonna rank it out to? Out of. If you, if at you, the roof. Okay. <laughs> okay. I rank well, it I, at the roof. I rank it a solid ten on the vibe. Solid ten on the beat. Bars was a solid ten point nine. Yeah. The overall. Oh, that's the kids. Overall, okay. I reckon it's all ten, guys. All right. Well, that, that was, was our reaction to the video. Review of the comment. video. Yo, you got to end it. Huh? That was our reaction to the video. Uh, leave a comment or you know. Subscribe or do whatever you want to do with that, you know. Uh, hell, TJ, I don't remember this Comment shit. Comment down so below. And also, if you want another Tom McDonald reaction, if you want us to go deeper into uh, Tom McDonald bag, go into his older stuff, stuff we didn't hit on, you know what I mean? Right. How many likes should Zio get? You mean 80. Let's let mama. Okay. I didn't mean you. I didn't mean to ask you. Oh, okay. If... How many likes? How many likes does this video get? Unsurmountable. No, but we ain't no way. No. Yeah, we, I mean, we, look, look, for them, for us to, to, to for years. how many likes do we need on this video so we can react to more Tom McDonald stuff? How many likes will it take to get what them to? What is the limit? 
Yeah, but we might not reach that limit because you know we only got like fourteen thousand followers. And, okay, you know, so that's what I'm saying. What limit can I pay? At least five hundred. Five hundred likes, and that'll get you over here too, for another Tommy Donna reaction. Oh, uh, get me over here a thousand. A thousand likes. Damn. A thousand. All right. Everybody, but four hundred people. In right, right if I've got to come out, you gonna pay for it, and your likes are free. All right. Take it. All right. Now come on now, guys. Now come on now. Y'all heard it. If this video, <laughs> so that means we have to drop it all at once. Then. Yeah. Three one thousand. Yeah, we have to drop it all at once. If this video get a thousand, and we'll premiere, get a thousand likes, you get another Tommy Donna reaction. Guest star, Mama. Oh yeah, if we get yeah. What you say? You go by on her. Vicky. Oh. <laughs> Vicky, <laughs> all day, everybody. I know you say Mama for anything. Like, now that's on my on my uh, yeah. YouTube. Okay. What is that one called? Mama V. Venting with Vicky. Venting with Vicky. Venting with Vicky, y'all. Hell yeah. And her. We'll we'll put your uh we'll put your information in the description. Yep. Alright. Well, anything else, Boo? That's all I got, babe.